Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is the channel DC True Dads Nation that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We talking my San Antonio Spurs, y'all. And I gotta tell you, it's been a few days since the draft. I didn't want to rush the video out. I wanted to think about the choices the Spurs made, analyze the choices the Spurs made, and then formulate an opinion. And they, you know, with the 11th pick, they went with Devin, Devin Vassell, okay? Now, I didn't know much about Vassell, okay? But I got to tell you, I do like the little things I'm hearing. You know, he's 6'7", 195 pounds, a good defensive player, and a, and a pretty good shooter as well, okay? So, I got a lot of thoughts about him. And I honestly think he has a puncher's chance. I said puncher's chance now of being a starter for the San Antonio Spurs sooner than expected. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Okay, okay, okay. I can hear you sucking your teeth over the video. I hear you laughing and joking. How could this guy, a rookie, we know nothing about really as far as his ability to adapt to the NBA. How could he be a starter? Now, I'm not necessarily saying he's going to be a starter at the start of the season. That's not what I'm saying. But I can see him being a starter at some point during the year and consistently as well. And it's not because, you know, I think he's like a franchise player or anything like that. He's definitely a, a, a good player, a classic lottery pick, someone that can help the Spurs a little quicker than a Murray or a Lonnie Walker or a D. White. You get what I'm saying? I do think he does have that potential and that upside. And I understand that Popovich does not play rookies. Like He usually sends them to Austin, and we get frustrated, and we get angry, and then he plays them like the last 20 games of the, of the season. So me saying that this guy's going to be a starter seems even crazier. But just hear me out, okay? Because I honestly think because of his skill set, he has a chance of being a starter. It's not always about talent. It's not always about ability. It's not always about experience. But because of his skill set, he may be able to work his way in the starting lineup. And one of the big things that's probably going to help him get in that starting lineup is his ability to shoot the three. The San Antonio Spurs, they don't take a whole lot of threes. They were at the bottom of the league at three-point attempts. So they need to open up the floor for, you know, a DeRozan to, you know, go to the basket to work in the middle you still got lamarcus aldridge as of this video he's going to be you know shooting his fadeaways he needs an open space in the middle so who better to do that than one of the better shooters on the team you know patty mills clearly was the best three-point shooter on the team last year at the same token in the same token though you know he's too small and he's getting older and i don't know what they're going to do with him honestly you know i'll do a whole nother video on that but as far as Vassell, Vassell has the size, the strength, the youth, the athleticism to earn his way on the floor from a defensive angle first and then give the Spurs some offensive punch since he can shoot well too, shooting over 40 percent in his college career. So remember now, DeRozan can't do those things. He's poor defensively. DeRozan is. He's poor from the three-point line. He is, whether he wants to pretend like he just decides not to take them or not, he doesn't shoot them, okay? So you need someone to kind of balance that out. And that's one of the issues the Spurs had, you know, last year. You see what I'm saying? Because Murray, he's not a three-point shooter. D. White is very streaky, okay? So if you get a, a consistent 3 and D player in there, he can easily play the three spot and complement DeRozan better now get don't get me wrong you know Keldon may be ahead of this guy you know in development Lonnie Walker may you know make some strides but they may not fit as well as he will with DeRozan in the starting lineup keep in mind now this is the San Antonio Spurs Bruce Bourne from a talent perspective he started for the Spurs all the time but he didn't necessarily have the offensive skill set and I'm not trying to put this guy in a box like Bruce Bowen, but I can easily see him, you know, you know, shooting threes from the corner, being our defensive stopper. Think about him and Murray in the starting lineup together. Man, that would wreak havoc on other teams. Because remember, the Spurs have decided to kind of stick with DeRozan. As far as I know, as of this video, they're sticking with DeRozan. OK, so you have to find players that pick up the slack, you know, that help him with his weaknesses. And this guy does basically the opposite of the Rosen when it comes to the three-point line. And definitely on the opposite end, 
you know, when it comes to defensive prowess or whatnot. That's one of the Rosen weaknesses. But that's what you do. You know, you take what you can get with the Rosen, take his 20 points, plus five rebounds, plus five, five assists, and then you put players around him that make up for his weaknesses. And you got to remember, the Rosen loves to penetrate and dish. You have to be able to hit a three. And Vassell has the potential now. Remember, we're going off of potential. We haven't seen this guy play. We don't know what his mental capacity is. Heck, we don't even know how he's going to get along with Pop. But for him, from his skill set, from his draft record and these videos I'm watching and these articles I'm reading, he should be able to knock down that three pretty consistently. So if he's doing that, I can see him moving into the starting lineup ahead of Alani Walker, who has been inconsistent with his three-point shot. So has Keldon Johnson. Keldon Johnson did break out, but he broke out probably like the last 10 games and you know, and then maybe, you know, the games in the bubble. So it's not necessarily a consistency, you know, you know, a consistency window that Kellen Johnson has, even though I love his potential. Can't wait to see what he does next year. But this guy, I'm telling you, he can end up doing that because he is a defensive player. Like I said, he can't hit the three point shot and he's almost like the opposite of DeRozan. So he'll probably mesh with him a little bit better on the floor, probably at the beginning of games. You're probably not going to have this guy at, at, in, in the games or whatnot. So you never know. And then there's another factor of this. You know, the Spurs, you know, Spurs Nation has been kind of freaking out. And I, I freaked out a little bit seeing that the Spurs don't have a whole lot of depth up front they don't have the traditional power forwards they don't have the traditional centers you know the stretch center at least they don't have anything like that they have a whole lot of wing players a whole lot of wing players a whole lot of guards but if we take a step back and we just think about where the league is and where it's going ugh, you know you're not going to run into like an anthony davis every night and then even with a player like anthony davis he's still very perimeter based so don't be surprised to see a lot of Lonnie Walker at the four. Don't be surprised to see Vassell play a little some minutes at the four. I wouldn't be surprised by that. So that opens up a whole nother avenue. Now, I hope Pop doesn't lose his damn mind <laughs> and become the Houston Rockets and just have us running around with a bunch of midgets on the ground, on the floor or whatnot. But, you know, I can see them kind of playing a little small ball here and there because they do have a lot of wings. They do have a lot of length. They do have a lot of athleticism, man. When the last time we said that about the Spurs, you know, a lot of athleticism. Think about, you know, Vassell, Kellen Johnson, you know, uh, Murray, all on, you know, the wing defending. Man, that is scary, guys. That is scary. So I like the potential here. I like where we're going. You know, I'm a glass half full type of guy. So, I mean, I'm excited, man. I'm just glad we got the draft out the way. And we can just start seeing where this team is going, man. Where they're going. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We don't have long to see if this youth movement works for the Spurs. The season is about a month away. I can't wait. Man, it's good to see fresh faces, fresh jerseys. I'm ready for some NBA basketball. All right, guys, make sure you check out some other videos on the channel. I got that superhero playlist if you're into that sort of thing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for rocking with your boy. Peace.